Hi there, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe? Now let's get on with this video. Today I am going to use the Charlie pen and um, it also comes with the 4.5 ounce bottle of the Heart of Darkness, HOD, right here on the top of the box. And while this is kind of an unboxing, I've actually already taken out the Charlie and have cleaned it out like you're supposed to do, which I didn't cover in my Ahab video. You really should kind of flush this out and and clean it up um, according to, just to get all the, res the stuff from manufacturing out. And so um, I use a bottle of flush and I, mine happens to be from Goulet. I also have one from Penn Chalet, so it's, it doesn't matter. You can also use Dawn dishwashing soap and clean it out, but I think these flushes from the pen companies have some ammonia or a couple other agents that kind of help to get out any residue that might be in your pen. So this is the Charlie pen and it is a free pen. And I wanted to do this review in the daylight instead of at night. So you can see the beautiful colors and variations that you get with this free pen. Did I mention the pen was free? So you get a free Charlie pen with every 4.5 ounce big bottle of Heart of Darkness. And you don't get a say in which pen you're going to get because it's free. So it's just kind of included in there. And so I'm just gonna go through what this pen looks like. I've been pretty excited about getting this, especially after hearing and reading about what Nathan Tardif wanted for the Heart of Darkness and why it's called Heart of Darkness and why the pen is called Charlie. And after finding all of that out, I was pretty much sold and I could not wait to get one of these. So I asked for one for Christmas and, you know, they're kind of sold out everywhere. So it's, it's a pretty popular, popular pen and popular ink. So mine came with these lovely variations on the pen. And if you look at the clip, it says Noodler's Ink on it and it has a stamp. And then on the side, don't know if you can tell, um, but it has uh, Noodler's Ink marking. And then over here, oh, it's so hard to see, but it says Charlie on that pen right there. Pretty excited about having this in case you couldn't tell. So I'm going to then have it compared to the Ahab here for you. So you can kind of see and hang on, I'm gonna grab my ruler which I should have done beforehand instead of making you wait on the video but you know this is how I roll so um really unprofessional video but you know that's okay we don't need bells and whistles or do we I don't know okay now you can see on my quilting sewing mat that um capped the Ahab is right at five and a half inches, and then the Charlie is right at 5.2-ish, 5. 5 kind of. So it's smaller, but you know, cap doesn't tell you anything. I know posted does, but Ahab, I have another video on it, and it is such a wonderful go-to pen for me. I I can't say enough about it. So posted, the Ahab is off the chart, like literally on my mat here. And uh, it'd be nice for you to be able to see what the measurements are. And then capped, the Charlie is a lot shorter, but it's coming in right about five and a half-ish. So a little bit taller actually than five and a half. I don't know, where does it hit? Yeah, a little bit above. So. You're gonna get a bigger pen in the Ahab, but that's why it's called the Ahab because it's supposed to be like a whale of a pen and you can actually eyedropper the Ahab as well. And you can most definitely eyedropper this Charlie pen, which again, I'm going to be demonstrating for you. It's a lot more slender. It is a skinny and a smaller pen. And so you're going to, uh, be able to have that size comparison with that. I don't have a creeper, but from what I understand from reading on um, what Nathan Tardif and a couple other fountain pen places have said, that the Charlie pen 
is a type of a creeper pen. And so um, it's very similar to that. And some have even said that the nibs and stuff are interchangeable. So don't quote me on that. I am not positive, but that is just what the rumor has. So it does have an ebonite feed, which is so nice for a free pen. How about that? And then it has the Nubler's markings on the nib itself. And so there, there's those. And so let's see, let's get this off and let me get into my ink bottle here. So when you open this up, it's going to tell you a little bit of information and it kind of looks a little fuzzy, but that's because this piece is a little fuzzy. It's reloadable, tough and durable, frugal way to have varied and, and potable, uh, portable ink. Oh, it's talking about the cartridges that you can actually purchase. And then it's got a whole list of the types of inks that you can buy. So anyway, that's the insert in there. And then here is the Heart of Darkness. And that is so pretty. The art on this is actually quite lovely. And so let's see, let's start over here. You've got like this demon catfish, very nice. And then it says 4.5 ounce and Heart of Darkness, and it has an elephant in there. And in French down here, Accord de Tenebris, which is Heart of Darkness in French. So anyway, um, that's the art on there. And what you want to do is to open this up. And there is no fancy anything in there. You can tell that it's already been um, Kind of primed to have this be eyedroppered so you don't really need silicone grease you can actually see a little bit of the residue on here but and then the ebonite feed kind of coming out but if you've watched my videos before i'm scared to death of ink leaking because i've had it happen and so what i'm going to do is put silicone grease in um, on the threads because that's just what i like to do just for added safety security you can use a q-tip but i like whoa i like to be able to whoa sorry <laughs> golly i'm like all over the place today okay i like to be able to kind of put it on myself and be able to kind of feel the threads and make sure it is on the way i like it so you're, you don't need to like slather it on like butter but you know get that on there a lot of places recommend that you thread it on thread it off thread it on again just so that all of your threads get a little bit of the silicone grease on there okay and then you are going to open up your heart of darkness and what's nice about the heart of darkness ink is that it comes with an eyedropper so you don't have to go through your house like I do, looking for a syringe or something to fill it with. And I am going to then get my paper out of the way as I yank it off of the ink bottle, kind of like a magic trick. How nice. Wow, quite a bit of ink that can go in there and I'm trying not to make a mess every which way. This is eyedropper number three. And four. Okay. One of the things that I don't like to do is to get the ink past the threads. So I'm just gonna stop right there. I kinda like it where it's right below the threads. And then you just put this back on. And what some of the places recommend is that you screw this on halfway. Get your everything ready. And then you can kind of prime the feed. I'm gonna get this 
and then you flip it upside down and then you, whoa, wrong way. You make sure that this goes back on and then you can even see some of the ink come out. And that is how you know your pen is ready to go. So yeah, you'll spill a little bit of ink, but that's better than spilling a lot of ink on you. Uh, so there we go. And that's on, okay. And then you just wipe off the excess and I'm going to just wipe off around this edge as well. Okay, and I do like to post this one because it's really small. And even for me, it's kind of tiny. And so we're gonna now write on this. So I'm gonna try a couple different papers. And let's see, the first one is copy paper, which is what I like to do. And I was doing another video on glass dip pen. So that's some of my testing from there. But this one is, um, Moodlers, Charlie. I'm really so excited to be writing with this. Heart of Darkness. Beautiful. Not too wet of an ink. Um, so pretty nice on just regular old cheapy copy paper. So not too much feathering that I can tell or um, anything like that. There is bleed through. So if you are writing on regular copy paper, you might wanna be aware of that. And then I have my 32 pound uh, paper that I use for calligraphy. So I'm gonna just write the same here. So, oops, Moodlers, Charlie Penn, Heart, Darkness, ink. And this is not a flex nib. So, ooh, that's a lot wetter on the 32 pounds. So you're gonna find that, it, I guess, depends on which paper you're writing, but the 32 pound is more like the Rodia pads uh, that is comparable. It's a nice weight to the paper and also a nice finish, so you're gonna have that be more comparable there. And then I'm gonna show you, this is the, the comparison between this and the Ahab is, and of course Ahab has flex. So, and in this one I have just Noodler's Black. And so you're gonna see that gorgeous flexing. And about the same kind of, um, I guess, how, how wet the ink is. But I just thought that might be useful for you in case you were wondering what this is supposed to be like. So just a few specifics on the Charlie pen as we go along. The Charlie pen is a steel nib. It is not a flex nib. It's a regular steel nib with an ebonite feed. It's similar to the Creeper. It is also made of that vegetal resin. So sometimes it has a smell to it, but we, um, you know, it, you can kind of clean that off. And after a few days, it, you can't tell. I don't mind it. Everybody flips out over it. I don't know what the deal is, but Nathan Tardif came out with the Charlie pen in 2015 based on the events in Paris. And this is why I was really enamored with the Charlie pen. Um, if you notice, the ink is called Heart of Darkness and it is to reflect what was going on in Paris in 2015. And I don't know if you're familiar with Charlie Hebdo, the cartoon, the, the magazine really, it's a political satire type of a magazine. 
but one of the artists in there uh, made a cartoon that was directed against Islam and they were killed um, for making that cartoon. And so the Heart of Darkness is a black ink and it is meant to be for cartoonists. And so in the first run, Noodlers had 140 pens that sold out. In the second run, it was sold out and it is aimed towards making the fountain pen and ink, especially for cartoonists, to be free and affordable. Um, so Charlie is always going to be free with the heart of darkness, which I think says a lot, doesn't it? Um, and so in honor of noodlers and the stance that they take upon that, especially in light of the other um, slayings in Paris for cartoonists recently, actually, I'm going to write this down and that is J. Charlie. And je suis Charlie means we are Charlie. And that is really what Noodlers wants out there. Um, they want you to have that freedom of expression. They want you to be able to write and to prove that the pen is indeed mightier than the sword. Until the next time.